What's going on guys? Today we are taking apart the Porsche engine. We are going to do a leak down test and we're going to see if this Porsche engine needs a complete rebuild. I'm scared. Are you scared? Young Henri? My name is David and welcome to Z's Garage. All right, so the last episode we dropped the engine out of the Porsche and it is caked with oil. It is layer after layer after layer of oil. And the transmission is also caked in oil. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take off the fuel system and we kind of just need to assess where maybe these leaks are coming from. On the top end or like the top of the Porsche engine, there is the triangle of death, which usually is your leak point. It's like an O2 sensor and some other things. So we need to clean this Porsche engine up, maybe power wash it, I don't know and uh, see what we're working with. And then we're gonna do a leak down, leak down test. So let's get into it. So we got the fuel system off and right when you get the fuel system off, you can immediately tell right below that fuel system is where a major, major leak is coming from. This area right over here, it is just engulfed and dried up in oil. It is, has so much oil just caked on there. So we'll definitely have to address that, um, that part of the oil leak or um, I think this is like an oil return hose right here. The gasket maybe failed and then we have like a O2 sensor right here. I think it's an O2 sensor. Um, but I'm pretty much just slowly, methodically going through everything. Every bolt that I take off, I am putting in a plastic bag and I'm taking pictures of it. I'm writing the date of it so then I can go back on my iPhone and I can look back at the date and see what I did on that date and then trying to mark where I put it. So let's keep going. We're gonna take off the exhaust now. All right, so overnight, well, yesterday I soaked everything in PB Blaster, um, all the exhaust bolts and nuts, and I'm hoping that with a little bit of heat, we'll be able to get this exhaust off. I'm a little nervous to get this going, so I'm pretty much stalling by talking to you, but I mean, eventually you just gotta do it, so. I really don't wanna break any, any studs here, so. Okay, exhaust came off like way easier than I expected. The PB Blaster really did its job and heating up the bolts helped it expand a little bit and removed um, those bolts pretty well. And so next we're gonna remove the wiring harness. I'm gonna start with the spark plug uh, plugs and I'm gonna label them and then I'm gonna take the distributor cap and just kind of make sure I'm labeling everything and kind of taking my time. So let's get this wiring harness off.
Come, come up. Come here. No? Is your camera shy? Come up. Come here. Oh, he's not camera shy. All right, guys, this is Cooper. He's camera shy. He doesn't want to look at the camera, but... You staying? Oh, well, he's gone. Okay, so we pulled apart the engine. I took the fuel system off. <clears throat> Everything is off that needs to be off. The next thing that I want to do is I want to check the head studs. I'm pretty nervous about this. Just want to see if they're really loose. Um, I don't think they are, but we'll check them. We'll just torque it just a little bit, not much, because um, I don't want to snap anything. And then after that, I'm going to pull the spark plugs and check for a leak down test. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so first set of head studs were all a little bit loose. Um, I torqued it down to 24 and a half pounds and uh, they all kind of tightened up. So nothing broke so far, but let's move on to the next one. Okay, so just check the head studs on four, five, and six, and five and six head studs, I can't even catch it with my hex socket um, to tighten it down. So, looks like it's just been stripped. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I'm not sure if the leak down test, maybe the leak down test will kind of give me more, but, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, we're gonna keep going and uh, do more head studs, so. Let's keep going. Okay, so uh, we just finished the leak down test. Um, and here are the numbers. Number one cylinder, we have 8% loss. Number two, 9% loss. Three, 11% loss. Four, 10% loss. Five, 6% loss. And six, we have an 8% loss. So I'm assuming at some point, this engine has been rebuilt. I am liking the cylinder heads. Um, you know, they don't look like they're leaking. The cylinder head studs, some of them were loose. And also I'm just not able to catch some of the cylinder head studs with my hex socket. So 
Um, not exactly sure what to do. I'm not sure if I should break down this engine even more down to uh, the cylinders um, and refinish them or, or what exactly. So let me know what you guys think overall and uh, give me some advice on this, this engine. Um, I would prefer just to put it back together, but I'm not gonna put it back together if it's just gonna, you know, 20,000 miles from, from now, it's just gonna leak like crazy, so. Let me know what you guys think. Um, greatly appreciate all of you guys. I have some really cool videos coming out with carbon fiber for the motorcycle and, and carbon forging, forging and all kinds of cool things. So I'm really excited to keep uh, making these videos for you guys and uh, truly appreciate all of you guys. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.